Hello, and I have a question for all my dear viewers here today. Do you like short stacks? Do you like fat tits? Do you like bratty women? Specifically the Sundari variety that may or may not treat you like a subservient human slave and eventually fall in love with you? Do you also have a thing for tight office uniforms? If so, well, do I happen to have the game for you? I stumbled across this game by pure chance and only happened to play it because my unga bunga brain thought, oh, lady with the big titty pretty. I am but a simple cat girl with a simple mind, and it was enough to entice me to play this game. <laughs> However, the game throws you right into the self deprecating deep end where the MC refers to himself as a wage slave constantly because the game sure as hell likes to remind you, like that one Discord friend that won't shut up about being sad all the time. But listen. We don't care about the MC. He's bearable, and I personally found him quite enjoyable when he finally decided to grow a backbone, but this little H game, for those whose brain cells are suffocating from oxygen, is exactly how it sounds. Your boss is freaking drop dead gorgeous. Absolute bombshell. A babe, if you will. That may or may not be a walking, talking succubus that finds enjoyment in making your life absolutely miserable in your dead-end job by constantly talking down to you and taking credit for all your hard work. Women, am I right? Now hold your horses, calm down. Some of you might already be frothing at the mouth over the thought of being degraded. But we have correcting too. If you couldn't tell, this game fills my unhealthy obsession with hate fucking. Forgetting that, the story is honestly hilarious with its setup and involves MC basically being at the end of everyone's favorite hope rope. When browsing the green image board for advice on women and finds a goofy summoning ritual that he decides to give a go, lo and behold, the demon ritual he found worked. Who knew those forge, I mean, green image boards had legitimate advice on how to get a hot babe? Best part is, when summoning this bountiful demon babe, she happens to look exactly like your boss. And this is where I thought, oh, MC likes how his boss looks and wants to hate fucker respectable since i was under the impression from games like catherine that succubi take on the appearance of what you most desire however i won't say if i was right or wrong about that because that would be spoilers and i want you to play the game after all but hold on a minute i must ask for your attention but for another moment please do yourself a favor if you're already rushing over to steam and buying this game Make sure you use the English voice actor when you play. Whilst I'm usually a sub over dub kind of girl, the VA, especially the English one for this game, is phenomenal. Actually, next level, and I love it. You don't understand. This woman knows what she's doing and wears it with pride because everything she says sounds so freaking good! My name is Succuba, not some stupid piggy. Why are you spacing out? Wasn't you who summoned me? What are you waiting for? Come, let's take the bath together. I think this is worth mentioning, but I didn't particularly take any issue with this. The voice lines for the English VA don't line up 100% with the dialogue. So if you are a stickler for small things like this, then use the VA. But I prefer the English one overall, because she just sounds better to me. Good morning. The breakfast is ready. It's one of my best works. Come, have a taste. From here on out, you become the human sex toy and slave to Dummy Mommy Sundari Succubus, who demands you refer to her as your mistress. What's her name, you may ask? It's Succuba. Name of the Year Award, I swear to God. It sounds like I'm complaining, but I actually love it. It's just stupid. It's perfect. Mm. You okay? Not too shortly after you hate fuck her brains out. On the first introduction of appearing in your room and claiming to be her domicile, you then get introduced to the game's mechanics that I can only really compare to Kaiju Princess but more simplified, like a watered down version if you will, where you can buy toys for her as well as perform books for yourself. The UI is also a lot more simple, nothing crazy. It's a hentai game, don't expect much. Nothing crazy to see here, typical business of min-maxing little bars on the left using different techniques to get the best results. Keeping an eye on your AP bar is also important because every action requires energy, and unfortunately... Well, technically you are, but ignore the specifics, please. A hentai pro tag, so you can only come so many times before she decides to suck you dry. Speaking of sucking you dry... 
The H scenes are really good, and I mean like really good. The voice acting is absolutely mouthwateringly good. Like this girl didn't need to go as hard as she did with her voice acting, but god damn did she do it, and I am on my knees for this woman. Uh, yes, that's it, that's it. Oh, that hit the spot, feels good. I was legit flustered the first time I heard it. It's that good. She is dedicated to the craft and I respect that. It's also why I recommend the English voice actor over the other one. Please do yourself a favor and listen to me. As I mentioned before, you can buy things for it and some of those things are outfits. You can change the outfits basically whenever you want and all of them look freaking amazing. Like I, I cannot express this enough. Only downside is that Sakiba's outfit doesn't change for the H gameplay, only the CG scenes. It's not as in-depth as some other games. There's even a mechanic that can be your saving throw if you're running low on AP and want to get your points up a bit. <laughs> up. And you two have a very steamy dream together of a certain CG scene that'll be dependent on your outfit of choice. But I won't spoil those to you. However, you do need to have a certain amount of action points like left over to activate it, otherwise it won't work. Which is a downside, but make sure you, those action points count. Unfortunately for you, I can't show all the outfits here as I don't want YouTube to beat me like an abusive partner for putting too much spice in their food. So you just have to visit a certain site I'm a huge fan of, if you want the fully uncensored experience. But those that are already here, look at these outfits, man, they're so good! My personal favorite, I think, would have to be the bikini because it shows off so much, but the pink also matches her skin tone, do? This isn't the gym junkie bias either or anything, but my favorite CG does happen to be the one uh, at the gym for reasons, very specific reasons. Minus the dialogue beforehand. I can't get that time back. And since you've given your time and money to see this section, let us all enjoy a moment of silence together, shall we? As we listen to the mating sounds of Succuba herself. Yeah, uh, so this is the awkward part where we just kind of vibe in silence if you're watching the YouTube version of this video, because, like, I'm not really sure if Succuba moaning will get me demonetized or not. So we're just gonna wait for the video to continue. Uh, okay, back to the commentary. Additional content involves being sent photos occasionally when you're traveling to and from work. I don't like how Catherine games do. You can also revisit CGs whenever you want to if you just feel like, you know. I don't have to say it, do I? Without spoiling the story too much, it's really nice to see the MC's life get better with Succuba in it. Despite his crappy job, both of them make for some really funny moments, and the housewife arc she goes through is super cute too. You think a game like this is constantly horny on main, but the more time you spend with Succuba, earn money by working with her and turning her into a streamer so you can buy her nice things, that's what she becomes. Who knew you could win a woman's heart by buying her pretty things? You can even kiss and head pat her. And at first she's not exactly a fan of it, but oh my god, she's so cute when she starts to like it. She's just the cutest little scenario and I love her. I will mention though, and I'm so sad I didn't record it when I was playing the game in Discord for everyone to watch, but the ending is freaking wild. I am not joking. There were so many times where I was just like, wait, what? Oh? In between laughing my ass off because you know exactly, and I mean exactly, <laughs> where the budget went for this game. I'm just saying we're probably going to get more games with Succuba in the future. Which will be super fun, because I genuinely enjoyed this game. However, I'm petitioning to remove any feet scenes or mention of armpit again, because as a H game, it's trying to cater to everyone's kinks. I understand that. I completely get that. But for the love of God, I'm not getting rid of the trauma I experienced having to read armpit licking text. Music is pretty good, though. It makes me feel like I'm playing Persona 5, but with sex. Hey, aren't you forgetting something? You forgot this. Our goodnight kiss. <laughs> Sweet dreams.